we welcome you guys into this ring ceremony again. Congratulations to the season. When uh, we started this program and I, I kind of jumped on board, we went into Division Two. It's kind of taken some building steps and some process and a few coaches here and there. We've had some success. And when uh, Devin took over this program, a lot of you guys were, uh, some of you guys were a part of that program. But despite, you know, him not having the success very early in his coaching career, those people that were with this program were the reason that you guys were successful this year as well. Um, and, and even though we did take, you know, the back seat here in the conference just for a little bit, obviously our hard work and uh, what Devin has instilled, his coaching staff has instilled and, and all these hard working players. And uh, that group that came in from Greensboro, North Carolina and some of those uh, kids that really stuck with the program and, and believed in what the program was gonna be has created this back-to-back -back 20 win campaign, both 24 and seven last year, win six of our final seven games this particular season, we, we go to Wingate and I wasn't really sure what, what was going to be in store when we went into the South Atlantic Conference Tournament. And then all of a sudden we had that just amazing quarterfinal against Wingate where they should have just stayed at home, you know, in, in a way, because I'm not even sure that they even got off the bus because you guys didn't allow them. We're very smothering, uh, obviously clicking on all cylinders offensively. Then we go into the South Atlantic Conference Tournament semifinals. You got the big rivalry with Carson Newman. Uh, you've gone 2-0 and o against them during the regular season. So to sweep them, to go 3-0, and o, obviously sweet and special. You probably could have ended your season right there and been satisfied with whatever happened. But then to get Anderson the way we did in that second half and to come back and, and to get that was, ex ex for me, um, emotional because we had been there so many times in a, in a South Atlantic Conference uh, setting earlier. And uh, to get that, to get over the hump and be there, finally was uh, obviously very special for me. So you guys get the sixth NCAA tournament bid. You get your third South Atlantic Conference Tournament Championship. And uh, I'm getting in the car. I'm ready to head down to Greenwood, South Carolina. And you guys are already there. And then I get the call. It's over. Um, I can't imagine what you guys were going through and how you felt. I know how I felt because I was ticked off. I just gassed up the car. And I was like, man, I just wasted that $35. I didn't have to spend that. Um, I don't really know how, how you guys did feel about that, but uh, I do know deep inside how you do. Uh, COVID has not been easy. It is not something that um, uh, I think that you will tell our kids and grandkids uh, going forward about we were in during a pandemic. I didn't ever think that I'd be a part of that, such as Spanish flu or, or something like that. So here we are part of the pandemic and, and we're just trying to get going. Um, we honor you guys today. Uh, Thank you so much for making my job so easy and what I do. I enjoy coming to the basketball court this past year and because I knew every time I came to the court, it was going to be a competitive game. Whether or not we won, it was always going to be a competitive game. And that's what I've always appreciated about Devin and what he brings. Uh, and I know it's uh, sad and I'm still pretty upset with him, but uh, I, and I get a chance to see him twice a year. But it may seem a little bit more than that because I may have to give him a harder time. But appreciate your effort, Coach. Appreciate the, the – uh, everything that you put into the program you know you're coming off the bench of the men's program and you're taking over a women's program and, you, and you're kind of unsure um you weren't sure how it was going to go but definitely appreciate the effort that you put in and what you brought back to tusculum university tusculum college and what you brought back now to the university um to be a very special I, I just wanted to open it up to you maybe you know you had a couple of words that you wanted to share with this this group since we're all together once again and i know that you talk with them but since we're on this forum, if there were some words that you wanted to share with this very special group. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, one thing that I try to make people understand is that um, coaches don't win basketball games, uh, but they definitely can lose them. And um, one thing about our group is that, you know, I used to tell them all the time is that uh, I didn't score any points, this, you know, this past year. Uh, I didn't get any rebounds. Um, you know, I, di I didn't make any threes or free throws and, and it was all our kids, you know, um, you know, you mentioned a couple things about the journey to, to get here. Um, winning championships is really, really hard and um, it's really, really um, tough and you've got to have some breaks go your way. Um, you know, when I took over the program, I, I think we can both agree it was probably one of the worst programs in the country. Uh, when we first got here, um, you know, just the mindset, um, you know, we, we had a, a situation that was very unique. Um, but the thing about it was, is that we got a group of kids in um, that allowed you to coach them. And, you know, they allowed you to hold them to a standard. And 
that's what made my job pretty easy. Um, it was it was a road, and and it, and it felt like every time we started to climb over the hump, we hit a bit of adversity. You know, um, you know, we had a, a a a team try to report us for something that we didn't do, and and we ended up blowing them out and hitting them with a huge favor since they wanted to be petty. But uh, you know, we had a, a a group of kids that day in and day out wanted to compete they allowed you to coach them they allowed you to uh hold them to a standard um they always worked and, and got better um winning is hard uh but we had a group of kids that were willing to pay the price to win and so you know when i walk into the gym i would see maddie and jayla and mia and casey and sydney and all those kids getting work in to get better it makes your job as a coach uh, easy, uh, but it also puts a lot of pressure on you because you you finally have a group of kids that's working and, and willing to invest and and put the time in. And as a coach, you got to execute. You got to put them in a in a position to be successful. And um, you know our kids were just phenomenal. They're just they're flat out phenomenal. Um, I tell them all the time that you know they were going to be the group that that raised the bar and and and, and set the standard um, because I knew what we had in the locker room and. A lot of people will try to take credit for what those girls did and the time they put in and, and they'll, they'll, they'll broadcast it and do it, everything else. At the end of the day, it was the kids. And, um, you know, they, they put the time in. They put the work in. They put the sacrifice in the early mornings, the weight session, the ladders. Ooh, the ladders that, you know, they would get through and um, they made it happen. And so... Uh, as a coach, when you have a group of kids like that, um, that allow you to coach them, that don't make excuses and, and, and do those, those type of things, yeah, it makes my job really easy. Uh, to, to piggyback off of that, I also had a great staff. And um, the, the, the staff was one that was very selfless. Uh, no task was too small. Uh, I tell my staff all the time, we got to walk around like we got a black eye um, and, and we got to be here to serve the kids. And uh, they kept that the main thing. Um, you know, Jordan Ashley, uh, Cam, um, they really, really sacrificed for our kids. They put the time in with our kids. They put the work in and the blood, sweat, and tears with our kids. And um, it was a whole team operation. It took everybody. Again, congratulations. Uh, I know there was a, a lot of turning points uh, for this season and, and the way things went, you know, really starting at Catawba with Sid, and I think it kind of uh, forced you to have to change just a little bit. And uh, do you feel as if that may have been a turning point for the team where you had to incorporate not just a group of six or seven, but you had to incorporate everybody that was on your bench? Yeah, that, that was a uh, very stressful moment. Uh, <laughs> a very stressful moment. You lose a kid, an all-conference kid like Sidney Wilson, um, and it forces you to change. One thing I've learned, Brian, is that with coaches, a lot of coaches have egos. And um, a lot of coaches have egos for no reason, Brian. And um, one of the things that it forced me to do was it forced me to change. Uh, a lot of coaches think it's about their system. They think it's about them, and they think it's about their X's and O's when really it's about your players. What that moment did for me was that moment made me realize that we've got kids on the roster that put time in, that work hard and do everything else and can add value in the right situation. Um, and we had to put them in the right situation. So when you go back and you look at the injury to Sidney Wilson, you lose one of the, the all-time leading scorers in school history, one of the um, you know, best scores in the league, a first team all league kid. And then all of a sudden you've got to incorporate man number seven, eight, nine, and 10. Um, it forces you to change a little bit because, you know, you look at a game like UVA wise, uh, we're on the road at UVA wise and, and that second group comes in and gives us a boost. Um, you look at the situation where you're able to go into a game like wing it and, and throw a curveball at your opponent. Uh, and, and totally flip that game and, 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 and win that game by 40 points. Uh, that second unit was about as big as, as, as you know, uh, any moment in our season. And so to have those players step up uh, made the championship that more gratifying because it was a 1,000% total team effort.
again, uh, congratulations. We'll be uh, seeing you down the road, obviously, um, and uh, wish you all the best. Not a whole lot of luck, but do wish you all the best for sure. Thank you so much, Coach. Appreciate you. I appreciate it. All right, we're going to do kind of like a, a virtual ring ceremony where we kind of try to hand these out. So as I, as I say your name, if you just want to shout out a, a thank you, a congratulations uh, to someone, feel free to do that. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do that when I, when I call out your name. But um, again, gang, it was a special season for me. And I, and, I, and I know that I can probably sit on here and just say those things, but I truly mean it. Um, you know, I have gone through where I broadcasted and I didn't even want to be in the arena with the team just because of certain things that were going on. It felt like they didn't care and it didn't matter. Even in games where we were losing, it still mattered to you guys. And it has mattered since Devin has been over. And, you know, he, he only won two or three games, you know, one of those years, six games. Um, it, it seemed like just two or three, but even in those games that they lost, they, they still competed. And again, that, that means a lot to me. When you go in and you compete, that means that you have uh, some desire, you, you have some want to and some ability. And I appreciate that uh, for what you guys have put in. So I call your name. Um, whether you've got your ring yet or not, because you will be getting it. Um, just if you want to sh say a few things to the coaching staff or, uh, or to some of the people that we see on here, feel free to do that. I'll give you a couple of seconds to do so, and I'll be moving on. So we're going to start alphabetical order from uh, Winston-Salem, North Carolina, Hannah Barr. Hey, everybody. Um, it was a great season. I mean, um, I, I read sure everybody knows. Um, I wasn't able to play with them, but I was able to watch and observe, which is really important. And um, that really helped me grow as a person and a player. And I think the person part is really important as well, because it helped me become like, um, I don't know, stronger mentally. It is, um, it's really important in all aspects of life. And I just want to thank Coach Carter who was a big part, like the biggest part in helping me become a stronger player and a person mentally, like I said. And uh, Coach Ashley, who always helped me, extra work and things like that, um, being patient with me as I was growing. Uh, Coach Cam, we have a few more years together. And uh, Coach Jordan, he's right there. Okay, Coach Jordan also, thank you so much for um, just uh, helping me grow, like I said. And, um, uh, and, and my teammates, I love y'all. So, so much, even the ones I graduated, Mia, uh, Sid, uh, everybody else. And um, can't wait to see y'all on the court. Um, and that's it. I love y'all. And thank you, Ms. Casey, as well. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> thank you, Hannah. From Amelia, Ohio, Kirsten Click. I'm sorry if you hear my dog barking in the background. She's being really annoying. But, um, uh, this past season was just like really special and something that I'll never forget. And I just want to say thank you to like the whole coaching staff as a whole for just creating that environment of just being like mentally strong and never giving up. And then thank you to my teammates for always pushing me and believing in me along with the coaching staff and just everyone in general. Um, yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Thank you, Kirsten. Not going in alphabetical order, but from Crossfield, Tennessee, Reese Stover. Hey guys, I can't really talk much. I'm in the library, but I do want to thank y'all. Like like Hannah said, like I was Richard also, but I still learned so much. Even like that, I chose not to play anymore. Like like the other day, I was studying for an exam, and I was like, man, like thinking about it, basketball. I was like, I remember ladders. I thought I couldn't do it at first. So I was like, I don't think I can do this, but I did end up doing the ladder. So I think I'm going to end up being able to do this too. But just simple things like that. Like, I feel like basketball also turns over into life in ways. Like Coach always said, like, it'll show you life lessons as long as you go. And I do believe that. But just, again, I wish you all the best of luck. Ball out like I know you all will. And never give up. It's Hard work is going to be worth it. Love you all. Thank you, Reese. From Blindwood, South Carolina, my Belton. Um, I just want to say congratulations to everybody. It just sucks that we have to wait a little bit longer to get our ring, but um, I just want to thank the coaches because, like, I've learned so many. Like, I was so terrible my freshman year. Like, just looking back, like, I really learned life lessons, like, off the court and on the court. So I just want to say thank you because that was a really – I just needed that check and I needed that experience, and I'm just glad I get to still play with most of you this season. So. Thanks. Thanks, Maya. 
place I hope to be visiting next spring for a wedding with one of the former Tusculum pioneers from Lisbon, Portugal, Marta Rodriguez. Sorry, guys. Uh, well, uh, thank you so much for the coaching staff and Coach Carter. Uh, thank you, Coach Carter, for teaching me and uh, to be a better player mentally and physically. It was two rough years, but we made it and we got the rings. And thank you, my teammates, too, for cheering me up every time. I love you all so much. Y'all like a family for me. It was a very special season and I had so much fun, too. So that's it. Thank you, Marta. Our own Beard and Bulldog from Knoxville, Tennessee, Jayla Arnwine. Hey guys, um, I wanna say congrats to every one of y'all. Um, Coach Carter, I wanna thank you uh, for recruiting me when you was looking at Maddie, you know, brought me along and giving me a chance. Uh, thank you, Coach Jordan and Ashley and Coach Cam for pushing me and working with me throughout the season. You know, I'm still working on that jump shot, but uh, I'm gonna leave that to Leah. Um, Sid, Mia, Reese, I'm glad I got to play with you guys. Um, thank you for letting me be able to look up to y'all on the court and off the court. Um, I appreciate everything y'all did to help us get uh, get the ring because we needed we needed y'all. Um, Casey, thank you for you know getting us back together once Coach broke us. <laughs> um, but I love you guys and I can't wait for the season. Thank you, Jayla. From Decatur, Georgia, Bree Dixon. Congrats, y'all. <laughs> we did that thing. Okay, but anyway, um, I just want to say <laughs> thank you for everybody being there for me, keep ooh, for keep pushing me <laughs> and making me better. Um, I wouldn't want to go through this with any other group of people, and I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Bree. From Queensland's Australia, sitting right next to Maddie, I believe, it is Elle Hutchinson. Um, I just want to say uh, thank you so much, everyone, for the amazing season, especially um, Coach Carter and all the assistant coaches. Um, I learned so much over the past year than I have in like the past few years in my old school, and I'm so grateful that I'm here. So thank you so much. Thanks, Elle. Let's just stay in the same room. From Clarksville, Tennessee, Aaliyah Miller. Uh, I just wanted to thank the coaches, first off, for teaching me so much, coach pushing me on a daily basis. Um, and we accomplished so much in like a year, my first year being here, getting my ring, and I couldn't imagine like doing it like with a, another group of people. So thank you guys so much. Thank you, Aaliyah. And also in the room from Wallen, Texas, from Wallen Tennessee, Maddie Sutton. <laughs> Um, this is just one of the greatest groups I've ever played with, um, one of the greatest coaching staffs. Just thank you for sticking with me from my freshman year till now, like brought myself to a game that I didn't know that I could be at. Um, this group was so much fun. Like I genuinely love like spending time with you guys on the court, off the court. Like this is just one of the best groups I've ever been around. And shout out to our fans, best fans in the nation. You guys made it fun to play in the arena. Like, look forward to home games and yeah. Congrats on the ring. Thank you, Maddie. And if I don't, if these people are, are with us and I don't see them, just, just shout at me. I'm just gonna thank from Melbourne, Australia, Taylor Stibby, Nashville, Tennessee, Tori Patton, out of Morristown, Tennessee, Jazz Williams. And uh, again, if you're on there, just shout out from Greensboro, North Carolina, Casey Johnson. Our South Atlantic Conference Tournament MVP, she's from Ann Arbor, Michigan, and uh, what a delight to have uh, at Tusculum for the uh, last three years, Mia Long. Oh, Lord, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sad. I'm so excited, I'm so happy to see everyone, and I'm so grateful to Coach for uh, letting me count three years ago. No, that was kind of rough for three years. Um, but I'm so grateful for those three years. Um, and I wouldn't have done it without my teammates, everyone here 
Maya, Kirsten, Reese, and Marta, Jayla, Maddie, and Jazz was with me when I first came in, and Tori, and we, that first year was awful. It was so awful. Like, I had never ran a ladder in my life, and he just, like, here, run a nine, and I was like, <laughs> um, but I would have never done anything, any of that without um, my teammates um, off the court anywhere and Casey through concussions through my ankle injuries through my cramps um like mid-game Casey would have never been able to do anything without you there um Jordan helping me uh shoot a little better over the summer uh that was rough um <laughs> thank you for that and Astro and Cam just being in my ear when I just like wanted to like pour my eyes out but they were just always in my ear like you can't give up so thank you guys for that um and congrats to everyone I'm so excited we sweated blood tears for this thing um so i can't wait for everyone to get it and thank you guys thank you mia somebody who has the uh, epitome of perseverance and who has uh, been with programs probably a staple of our program out of greensboro north carolina sid wilson yeah um i just want to say congrats to everyone um i love you all thank you like my second family i miss you guys uh you guys are definitely like the best people in my life right now. Like I lean on you guys still to this day. Um, I want to thank Casey for helping me through two ACLs. Uh, wasn't easy. Um, Brian and Dom and all of them, you guys have made, you guys represent us well and are always looking out for us. And it's always nice to see you guys. And Coach Carter, I'm not gonna give you too much credit because I'm with you every day, so you're good. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you for uh, always pushing me and giving me opportunity after opportunity. And yeah, congrats everyone. And Cam, shout out to Cam for always rebounding for me shooting. And yeah, thank you guys. Thank you, Sid, so much for what you've been for this program as well. And all you girls that uh, participated and, and were able to be here and, and participate in this championship winning year. Uh, just some, some final thoughts from, uh, uh, you know, some of the support staff too, if you guys want to uh, say anything, our assistant athletic trainer, Casey Ziegler. Hey guys, um, I just wanna tell you all, it's been such an honor working with this whole team. Um, I said it a few back before, um, kind of season ended but I learn from y'all every day y'all teach me so much about myself and about the person I want to be as an athletic trainer um so I'm very honored and I'm so thankful I got to go on this journey with y'all and I look forward to seeing y'all continue to grow in your personal lives as well as on the court so love you guys thank you for everything you do and I'm so so proud of you thanks Casey assistant coach Ashley Rodriguez Uh, I just want to say thank you guys for the opportunity. Uh, it was a rival uh, when I, that year before I came in. And honestly, it was truly a great opportunity to just be uh, by your side and being the, the coach that uh, whatever you needed, uh, I hoped I did that um, during the season. I'm truly grateful for all the relationships that I built and kind of starting my path as a coach. And um, this, is, this is all you guys. I was just here to help and I'm just glad I was a part of the opportunity. So thank you guys. Thank you, Ashley. Now, Jordy, if you can speak and drive safely, I'll let you say a few words. Assistant Coach Jordan Sanders. Yeah, um, I just wanted to thank everyone that's uh, been a part of this journey. From the coaches, you know, Coach Carter uh, letting me join his staff two years ago and then meeting Cam and Ashmo and just becoming a family out of, like, those four. And then all the girls, like, not only did y'all grow, but you guys all helped me to grow as well. So really want to thank y'all for that. Hopefully my ring gets back here soon. You know, I'm missing a diamond. So, but I mean, hey, I'll take it. Thank y'all for that. Thanks, Jordan. Uh, assistant coach Camden Bonner. Hello, everyone. Um, I agree 1,000% with what Coach Ash and Jordan said. Um, this was all you guys. You made it really, really easy on us with, you know, your work ethic and the time that y'all put in. Um, you made it really, really fun to come to work every day. Um, and I mean, you guys are all like my kids, you're a blessing to my life. So I'm happy that, that I made the move to Tennessee, Coach Carter. Obviously, thank you for giving me the opportunity to, to make that move. Um, learned so much last year from you and from the girls. Um, and I'm, I'm so proud of you guys. You earned every part of this ring and I want you guys to wear it proudly every single day, except when we're getting that work in. Thank you. 
Thanks, Cam. And uh, thank you again, Coach Carter, for, uh, for everything that you have done. Um, as far as I'm concerned, that'll conclude our ring ceremony. I'm going to bolt. I got to get to a soccer practice and get some kids there. If you guys want to hang out, maybe and uh, continue to chat and say hi to everybody. And of course, you probably see each other anyway, but some of those that you don't. Uh, feel free to stay on here until Nick tells you you have to leave. And then when Forsberg says it's over, it's over. You're, you're done. You're good. But I appreciate seeing you guys. Look to seeing more of you as well uh, coming up. And we hope this whole COVID thing blows on over and we do get a chance to be on the court and, and, and get that opportunity to see you guys. So thank you once again. Appreciate all of your effort. And I'll chat with you later.